We're now on the clear water stand with Leon who works in the team over there. We're going to have a chat with him about the water. If you listen to the carp cast or anything to do with the Northern Angling Show recently, you'll know all about clear water fisheries. If you don't, Leon's going to fill us all in now. So tell us about the place, mate. Well, basically, we took over in August. Uh, we saw the place looked over and we thought it definitely needs a, a face change and a facelifting, basically. Um, so we thought we'd start off by uh, tidying the grounds up and everything like that, uh, cutting the grass, trimming it, getting all the heavy grass off, and then we started looking into new swims, building new swims and that lot. You know. um, after that, it would turn to getting new fishing. So we got a yeah. lot of new fishing. So yeah, you spent a fortune on Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're definitely, we're, you know, we're not messing about. But, you know, we really want to change it. We want to make it the prime fishery of the northwest, basically. Um, so when we started doing the work and we set plans with the fish, especially, we got about 240 new carp from Priory, Devon Valley, all ranging from C4s, yeah. C5s and C6s, the odd couple of C6s. Okay. Uh, so they've been put into Griffiths Lake. The smallest fish we got was £10. Oh, wow, okay, the biggest okay. fish we got was about £26. Oh, so you put some big ones in there? Yes, we've yeah. definitely put some big ones in, yeah. 240 fish have gone into Griffiths Lake, ready for the next one that's being fed up, yeah. fattened up. Then we have uh, 150 new fish, 50 new fish recently put in last week to Kelt Lake, which is our new runs water. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they've been fed on, that's ready for the grand opening tomorrow, uh, clear water. And then we've got the uh, big plans happening in November. Yeah. So, for instance, Griffiths Lake will be joining Jimmy's Lake. So, you're going to cut them into one? Yes, they are going to be put into one big lake. Okay. Uh, and there'll be, a, there'll be 22 new pegs on there. All redone, tidied up, clean. Uh, Kellen Lake, especially, they've just had all the new swims. That lake is ready and waiting, ready and waiting to go. Um, we've had state the art offense put around. That's, you know, that was definitely. Yeah, I mean, that was a big cost for you guys. Oh, yeah, that, it was, it? But, yeah. Um, especially, I mean, we won't really talk about otters that much on this video, but <laughs> I think we know how we all Offensive. feel about them. Um, so, yeah, obviously, big investment. If you're a serious fishery, you're going to have quite a spend stuff, it's just as simple as that. There's, there's no oh, way without a doubt, without a doubt, yeah. And it's going to be a big cost, but obviously you've taken it. And obviously, obviously, like a lot of the ground, like some of the bank improvements we made this, this winter and everything like that, especially Kellen Lake, um, we're going to have a, you know, a state-of-the-art filtration system coming in from the stream. Okay. So it's going to be like a multi-stage waterfall. And then we're going to have like reeds and lilies and stuff like that. So yeah. natural contaminants, natural contaminants, contaminants yeah, like it's just going to wash through, keep that water clean. Um, obviously recently as well we put diafix in. Okay. Diafix obviously turns the water blue, that'll yeah. keep the weed growth down a bit. Yeah. Um, You're doing the job right, aren't oh, you? Oh mate, it's, it's, the list is endless. It's, we've got a fair bit of work the next five years, but the main yeah. work's starting this year, back in November. So effectively, I mean we're looking possibly what? 10 years time it will probably be one of the best if not the best day ticket water oh, in the UK yeah, you know, yeah. without a shadow doubt, of a doubt and to doubt. get there you've got to invest a lot of money so and that's yeah. what these guys are doing yeah. so if no one knows where are you where about well so uh, basically we're literally two minutes off the m6 we're basing Carnford. okay uh, what junction of the m6 is that just simple people junction 36 Ish. Ish. Junction 36 ish. ish of the M6, just off there. Yeah. I, I Turn thought, left, <laughs> first right, it's just on the side of the road, just there. Yes, we're literally right there, yeah. Um, yeah, perfect. Yes. And obviously, you've got a website which is clearwaterfisheries.co.uk. Yes, yes, we're doing a page. Okay, page. all the info on there. Booking wise, phone up, book on, or just turn up. Basically, at the moment, uh, just ring up in advance. If you're coming from a, a, you know, a long distance, ring us up in advance before, like, maybe the public morning yourself the night before. Yeah. I'll tell you what, uh, pick up um, and then the possibility in the future we'll have a maybe have a booking system online. Tell you thanks and everything like that. Well, in the meantime, get on social media. We've got a Facebook page. It's all on there. I've just shared a post today of theirs. So if you can't find them, go to my page. You'll see their post from there. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to get up on the bank there soon, no doubt. Give it a try myself. Probably blank. But that won't be an effect on the fish, I assure you. Um, otherwise, we'll see you up there at some point, mate. Well, and thanks for letting us have a chat. Oh, okay. Perfect.